for their attention and cooperation. Oral questions. Question oral, the Honourable Member for Thornhill. to feel disappointed in your government when every day there's a new scandal. Those are the words of the Prime Minister in 2013. But after eight years of his own leadership, we have a Canada that feels broken, according to most Canadians. They've broken family budgets, they've broken the bail system, and again, they've broken the law. This time, it's the Prime Minister's parliamentary secretary. This is the sixth consecutive ethics breach from these Liberals. No accountability for any of these cases. Why does nobody over there get fired? The Honourable Government House Leader. Thank you very much, Mr. Se uh, Mr. Speaker. The Parliamentary Secretary uh, has apologized. The Parliamentary Secretary uh, wrote a, uh, a note in support of a business in his constituency, a business that uh, supports uh, black and multi-ethnic communities across Canada. Uh, and while it is admirable that all of us want to support local enterprise and business in our constituencies, the Parliamentary Secretary recognizes that it was inappropriate for him to write a letter supporting that agency and to support that business in his writing and has apologized, Mr. Speaker. Well, member for Thornhill. Zero accountability, zero consequences, and a zero on ethics. We hope that the Prime Minister's upcoming trip to the Caribbean today is, uh, is better or more productive than the last one, which resulted in his own law breaking. And that, of course, wasn't the only time he stepped in on SNC Lavalin. And the only person who was fired in that case was the first female Indigenous Attorney General. The Trade Minister refuses to pay back taxpayers for giving tens of thousands of dollars to her best friend in an illegal contract. Will anyone over there who broke the law get Fired. Yeah. The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, I think it's, it's important every single day uh, that we show up and that we do our utmost to serve Canadians. And the reality is, is the government has done that in all of its actions. Uh, the reality, as I've said on many occasions, is that there are almost 2 million Canadians today who have jobs who did not have jobs when they were in government. That there is 2.7 million less people in poverty today than when they were in office. Mr. Speaker, I know they're focused on us. I know they're focused on politics. We are focused focused on delivering results for Canadians and improving their lives. The Honourable Member for Thornhill. We're focused on the Liberals who broke the law. There's one okay. set of rules for these Liberals and another set of rules for everyone else. And don't take it from me, this is what the outgoing Ethics Commissioner said yesterday. Over the last five years and on several occasions, I've observed senior officials being unaware of their obligations and mistakenly making assumptions. For insiders, it's cushy contracts, special access, and special treatment to get ahead. And while Canadians get record inflation, record home prices, and record despair. So I'll ask for the third time. Is anyone over there going to take responsibility for breaking the law? The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, let, let's be clear, hyperbole aside, uh, that the reality is uh, that this, this side of the House is focused on helping shepherd the country through some of the most difficult times it's faced since World War II. And yes, while it's true, it's not enough that we have a lower inflation rate than Europe uh, the, uh, or the G7 average or the G20 average, the US, the UK or elsewhere, uh, that leading in, in difficult times is not enough. That's why we have concrete measures to actually help on issues like housing, like the member represent talked about, that they actually voted against, to help on areas like child care that they voted against, to help vulnerable peoples. Unfortunately, those are actions they didn't take when they had the opportunity.